lovelies. So I was going to do a follow me five row today, but I was looking through my videos that are not published yet. And um, I have so many starts of follow me five rows that I just like, I just completely forget to do them the rest of the day. So I start out and I tell you what I'm going to do that day, but then I don't take you along with me. So I don't know. And I'm just so sleepy. Um, today I have life group, which is like a Bible study, but it's like a really cool Bible study. Like we're doing a series. I don't actually know who it's by, but we're doing a series. Is this like, oh, let me turn this light off. Yeah, that's better. Um, it's called Overwhelmed. I wonder who it's by. I don't know. I don't know who does it. Like usually like Rick Warren or like. Some people have a second chance, or somebody does, like, the series, and we're getting overwhelmed. And I just, like, really, 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 really need to be there. <laughs> but I'm so tired. I, like, forced myself to get up. And I'm, like, such a child. My mom made me a uh, cream of rice, because if I, like, force myself to wake up, I get really sick. So I had to get something in my stomach. And I had ginger ale and cream of rice and it like literally has a picture of a baby on the front of it like the cream of rice <laughs> um and Bella's being so snuggly and just wants to like sleep and I'm like no I have to go um and usually like I'll take some of my pain medication during the day and that makes me like a little gives me a little bit of energy which is really super weird but um but I have to drive there, so I don't want to take it until I have to, have to, have to, have to, have to take it. Um, especially because I'm my we got a new car, and it'll be the first time I'm driving it. So don't want to be like adding anything to the mix there. Um, and I'm but I'm like all freaked out and worried about driving there because of course I have like anxiety over that. But then I, it's the new car, and it's like bright white, and I've never parked it before, and you have to park on the road where Alicia lives. She is my best friend and life group leader, and it's at her house, and so I'm like panicking that this is what I do. Welcome to my world. But do you notice I have amazing brow game today? The game of my brow is high because yesterday, and I don't know if I told you guys this last night because I don't watch my videos over again unless I have to edit them, um, I went to Sephora and I didn't do a haul because I only got like, I guess I should have done a haul, but to me like I only got like four or five things so it's not very much, um, but I did get the... Um, Brow Wiz. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. This was called Brow Wiz. The um, Anastasia, Anastasia, Beverly Hills um, brow pencil thingy majiggy. It has like a really fine point so you can literally like just draw in like hairs. So, and then I got the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I was like, okay. I don't know about this because I don't really like the feel like I remember I don't know when it was like maybe in like middle school or like freshman year of high school like it got kind of popular to like set your eyebrows with kind of like mas clear mascara and I don't I didn't like that the feel of that like I like my face to feel like my face like that's why I like the foundation this is why this is my jam because it's very thin and it feels like your skin and you can touch it and it's fine and I like to be able to touch this I don't like anything in my hair like you want to go to a hairdresser I'm like please don't use like a ton of hairspray my freaking hairspray is called it's rusk weightless because you cannot feel it in your freaking hair um, but this is like just because I have an issue right here you can kind of maybe see it kind of maybe um, but, cause I trimmed it, and I'm not so good at trimming my eyebrows, <laughs> I shouldn't have trimmed it, but, but this kind of like, just fills in the little holes and gaps and stuff, so, 
I'm highlighting my eyebrows today. Uh, I gave up on the rest of my face. <laughs> oh, and what if there's like new people there that I don't know, and they'd be like, "Why is this chick wearing pajama bottoms to Bible study?" Like, I don't know. These are the things I worry about. It's called being codependent. Like, I worry about what people think about me, even though I don't care. Um, what else did I tell you guys today? So, I have... It's 4.30 now. Ugh. And I kind of want to surprise Alicia, because I don't think she knows I'm coming tonight. And I haven't seen the rest of the life group in a very long time. And... Well, she might know, because I said to her, like, a literally, well, like cry if I don't, I, if I can't make it to life group, but who knows. Um, but I'm really excited and I hope that there's like people there and that I don't get too tired. Cause it's just like where I live is like 40 minutes away from everything. Like 30 to 40 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour actually. But like, <sighs> And which isn't bad, like, during when you go to something, but, like, on the way back, it's... Because Bible study doesn't start till 7, so, like, if we get out at 10, like, I'm not getting home till, like... Some, most times I don't get home till 11, so... That's really late, because usually I get in bed at 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, the other things that are really cool about Sephora, that even I did not know, and I am a VIB... Yeah, I think that's what they call it, VIB, which is like very important beauty insider or something. Um, because I order from them free frequently because I use my skincare stuffs from them and I, I get it from them and because it's not at Ulta. And usually I get samples and I actually am very particular about my samples. I will look each week and I will order on a week that there are three non-perfume samples because I cannot freaking stand perfume samples because first of all, I'm allergic to perfume. Second of all... Who wants freaky perfume? You have to like be so specific about perfume. It's very like particular. So, um, but when you go to the store, you can have any sample of any product that's like not lip or anything like that, but like face product or like anything like that, they will give you a sample of. Like you just go, huh. And I literally like my mom busted out laughing because she was like, um, would you like any samples today? And I was like looking for the samples to like pick out like packets because I was like, yeah. And she was like, okay, what would you like? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, where are they? She was like, then she told me and I literally like went through like three levels of shock. Like I was like excited, confused, shocked, excited again. And my mom just like buzzed out laughing. She's like, you should have seen your face. And I was like, so she gave me the glow mud, um, or what do they call? What is it called? The glam glow, I think it's called. Um, I tried their charcoal one, which is like very similar to the Origins Clear Improvements, but this is their like moisturizing one, and they come in these like a little adorable. I just can't get enough of these. I wish that I could just get these, like little tiny adorable, freaking. I can't open it little capsules I don't know so anyways it's like this little thing and you can flip this up I'm like a little nervous because she like really packed it in there which is like really cool because glam glow is very expensive but if I use this one time and I really like it I'll go in and buy it like I will save my money to be able to buy something that really works but I don't want to freaking buy something that's that expensive that's just like out on a limb and I don't know and then I got the Bite Lip Scrub, and she only gave me a little bit because there's only like a tiny little bit in the thing. But I almost bought this, but it was $18, and I'm like, um, maybe I'll just keep ripping at my lips. Because I have this really bad habit, if I'm nervous or anxious, I bite the skin off of my lips. And then it's like all sore and not good. So I thought maybe if I exfoliate it, there won't be anything to bite, right? Um, so I'm going to give that a try. So I'm really excited about that. 
Ah, that's all the things. So I just wanted to record this because usually when I go to Bible study, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do a follow me fibro. And then by the time I get home and get all ready, it's midnight and I haven't put up a video for that day. So I'm like, ah, so I want to have a video out for you guys so you all can enjoy this madness that is painful hilarity and the interworkings of my crazy brain. Oh dear Lord. Let's just hope I'm not talkative tonight because there are nights of Bible study where I see my friend Alicia just smiling at me because she knows I am going off because I don't like to talk um, during Bible study but for some reason sometimes it just hits me and I just go and go and go and everybody just like, well they say that I have a really soothing voice and so like they all kind of just get like sleepy and then I'm like, Hello? Hello? <laughs> Am I by myself? Is anybody else going to talk? Am I like talking out loud or is this just my thinking this in my head? And everybody's like, sorry, I just really got sleepy. <laughs> uh, especially Jacqueline and Alicia. Alicia, like, I can get her down. She's like an infant. If I start talking, it's just like, doo, 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 and she's like asleep. <laughs> um, that's probably why you guys watch me. Except for I'm not sleeping. We're trying to make you sleep. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys have a pain free, stress free day. I'm sending out XOLOs, and as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!